Now, isn't this different? And definitely not our second take trying to record. I needed a fan, okay? (laughs) Absolutely not our second take. This is us as we wanted it to be. Correct. Mm -hmm. It feels correct. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that that reference feels correct because we're back in Canada here. Shout out to Kimmy Couture. We love her. But... Hello, 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 and welcome to The Cup TV, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the T in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay. To, yeah. I was like, you'll learn, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, there's hand movements. There's a whole lot of stuff, and we're happy to teach you. We'll get there. <laughs> Yes, I am currently finishing off the little bit of coffee that I have left in my gorgeous San Diego Zoo mug uh, because she is cute, she is stylish, and most importantly, she holds a lot of coffee. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate right. her for that because mm-hmm. it is one of those days where it is necessary. <laughs> hello, hello, and hi, y'all. I am Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Her. And if you have something you know what to do, hit me up. I may or may not be drinking my second model of sun, uh, orange sun kiss, but it was with my dinner, so it counts and it's okay. Nobody's gonna say anything to you about that. Absolutely. Who's gonna not. check you, boo? That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> That's what I'm about to say. Yes. Ask me if I care if you do. I can drink three, it don't matter. But if I was drinking something else, here, I can be drinking out of my cup mug. Uh huh, uh huh. And you can get your cup mug at lanajeescreations.etsy.com or any of our cup merch. Um, and uh, we do ship internationally and domestically here in the U.S., so there are no excuses. And Canada, now y'all know, <laughs> you already know. You right upstairs. We just got to come get you. You get it. You got it. We'll get your stuff. Get your cup merch. We got some good stuff in there for you. Check out the shop. Mm-hmm. And uh, period. And uh, who the hell are you? Oh, oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Because we know hold what we're not going to do is act like she ain't been on this podcast before. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's for the first timers. Amy is a fa- Amy is fam now. Bro. Okay. Yes. Hi, yes. Everyone. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm Amy. Um, I am the future mixed poutine puppy. <laughs> um, I am Correct. currently drinking water and here to spill many varieties of tea very excited for a new season of bb can uh especially after this episode and everything we've seen i can't wait to get into it yes yes and oh boy apologies i have forgotten this is the first time that i am podcasting with amy right which i'm very excited about so i apologize for that get it right now just (laughs) I will make sure that I check myself and I come correct. Correct. Here in this moment. (laughs) But oh boy, y'all, BB Can 12 is here. It has started. And the people we wanted to be all stars on this season are here and they are the people we wanted. And I thrilled, thrilled. We're living. Mm -hmm. So excited. We're going to dive into all things premiere of BB Can 12. We didn't get a whole lot. But we also got a lot. (laughs) So there is a lot to talk about. Before we do, though, make sure to subscribe because we are going to be here all season giving you almost all things BB Cam 12. And we're going to be here in general giving you almost all things reality TV over here at the Cup TV. We've got a double dose of Survivor right now. We've got Amazing Race. We've got Big Brother Canada. We've got Deal or No Deal Island. We've got maybe some other things on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Who Mm -hmm. knows? We might. We, I don't know anymore. Um, but we'll be here. We'll be giving all, almost all things BB Can 12 here. And we've got two other channels as well with almost all things drag and almost all things Eurovision Song Contest and more other exciting things to come very, very soon. So make sure to go check out those channels as well. And if you want to become a member of our channel and join the Tea Room, make sure to go hit the join button over on our main channel, The Cup Pod, or you can hit up our Patreon. Same content, different platform. Those links will be down in the description below. And now that we got all of the uh, business out of the way. Should we start with the most exciting part of this? Let's I mean, go. look, Arissa Cox. Yes, we start with Arissa yes. Cox. Yes. 
Yes, uh, we start with Arissa Cox coming out looking gorgeous and uh, shining like a disco ball, shining bright like a right. diamond. Work. When I saw this like silver strapless gown, uh, all I can say was it's giving Renaissance, yes. it's giving Queen. Mm -hmm. Like she ate and left zero crumbs. Like Arissa is just it for me when it comes to Big yeah. Brother hosts. Like, yeah. There's Favorite. no other. When it comes to reality TV hosts, Absolutely. I'm going to be honest, she is in the elite of Absolutely. reality TV hosting. Absolutely. And, and I, I, every single season, I just love the fact that she's also a fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She loves this game as much as we do. Mm -hmm. And it is evident every single time we see her on this show, on an, in an interview talking about this show, doing everything. And she's working with, you know, some extenuating circumstances now on the BB can of it all. And she knows yeah. the, the super fans are not all that happy with the franchise, but she does her best with what she is given. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate her for it. So Honestly, it's been a little sad to see her retreat a little bit from interacting with the fan base. I know yeah. why. I wouldn't, yeah. like, it's not up to her that they've decided to take away the part that people love the most about the yeah. show that she loves hosting. Um but I don't think that it takes away from her as a host or the fact that she loves this game with everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I just hope people are kind to her and realize that like, if it was up to her, we'd still have live feeds. Right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And there's a lot of different reasons. There's a lot of discourse online. I, I don't feel like we really need to go into it. Am I disappointed that there's no feeds this season? Yes. As someone that watches live, especially feeds. after this episode, like and oh, especially yeah. after finding out who our all stars are, but yes. am I thrilled that BB Can is still here? Yes, because BB Can is and will probably continue for a while to be my favorite Big Brother franchise. So, Absolutely. but we dive in. We are in BB Can Studios this year. Mm -hmm. This house is one of my favorite houses in a long time. I'm Same. really impressed with this house. Top to bottom, I I love, it. I love um, it. I feel so similarly. Like it's luxurious. It is like Big Brother US could never like. Where is the? You have such a better budget being on the CBS Studios lot. I don't know why they don't look at and take notes from the way BB Can uh, creates a space and creates a world that you are immersed in. Like you step in there and it feels like money. It feels like luxury. It feels famous. Uh, and he, and here's, here's the thing. And because we just saw on Reindeer Games that it is possible to give us a good big brother house in the US. Like Reindeer Games set was everything. Beautiful. And it's mm -hmm. just the house with the greatest decorations and how you do it. And I'm like, Y'all have the budget. Y'all got the money to come up with fire themes. And you got the space on that lot to yeah. do some really amazing things mm -hmm. with that. So I'm like, Big Brother, y'all need to step it up. Give us some. Give I us. Will, I will say, though, upon reflection, the BB25 house was a step up from what we've had in some past years. Upon reflection, looking back at that season now, I'm like, that house was cute. There's a lot that could be done, and there's a lot of growth that can be had. Mm -hmm. But I do think it is an improvement as opposed to, remember when there was sand in the back in the uh, bathroom? Yeah, that was a Remember when there not was wrong. sand in the bathroom? <laughs> like, we're, we're leveling up a little bit. It feels like CBS is paying attention to Big Brother a little bit more again. So, I, so I'm I hopeful, want, but I do agree. I want them to do more, like, as far as, like, remember when they used to change the HOH rooms mm -hmm. around to to fit the, the person who was HOH at the time? Yes. I like little touches like that. Like, it doesn't take much, but, like, getting to do bedding and, you know, putting some fabric on the wall to change yes. it up and make it look different and, and you know, something. I just want Big, Big, Big Brother US to get, because why their house looks so huge? Compared to our house, like when we come in, it's like one level, here it is. Then we got the HOH on this. It looks so much smaller compared mm -hmm. to the Canada house. I want yeah. I want to walk in the space and feel like this is luxury. And that's what they walked yeah. in today. That's what they walked in today because that marble, 
uh, all over that house the marble that we are currently sitting in in mm -hmm. the living room in our cute little background that you can't really see all that much but it's there i mean the gold and the marbling and then it's all over it's beautiful it's, it's stunning gorgeous. It's and then all the, oh, the rooms we had a trophy their billiard room is the trophy room with all these different trophies it. and the golden gummy bear <laughs> come on come and on the executive, executive veto v? executive veto that's just sitting there can't wait to see how that uh plays out in the long run mm -hmm. uh, there'll definitely be some uh some crazy fuckery along with trying to figure out how to get that out of that case. I guess. <laughs> right. Right. I need, I need some old school BB can. Like I want them crawling through. Yes. Crawling through the house. Mm -hmm. I need like, I want to see some mission mission. impossible kind of things. Like make it happen. Exactly. Touching like, everything on the wall, seeing if something moves, seeing if something yeah. lights up, look at flipping under all of the, the couch cushions, looking for a key. Like it gotta be right. something in this house. Right. I will say as well, the the intro as well, it felt very housewives and I really enjoyed it. And then mm -hmm. getting the house tour being this like classic Hollywood, like giving Hollywood North, that whole thing. I really, really enjoyed that. We also hear about this, the movie night massacre, which I'm really interested to see what that, it feels like that twist a couple, um, a couple seasons ago with the, was it the poison or whatever? When with the, was it when they were putting they had that competition the dinner oh i feel yeah, very the dinner like party dinner party that yeah. they did last season and it that was, was like, last season that was it, it was last season uh, they had the dinner party. Um, with the way they mentioned like comedy romance as well i'm thinking we're gonna end up getting themed weeks um that match that like the rooms each have themes in that way i think we mm -hmm. get themed weeks BB Can's pretty good for having thematic um, mm -hmm. week-long uh, competitions and whatnot. So yeah. I guarantee you we're going to have some crazy comedy week. We're going to have that. It's probably going to be like a triple during that horror week. I can't wait for the mess. Right. Uh, Big Brother Canada just brings the mess in a way that no other iteration of Big Brother brings. So and, yeah, and they, did mention, and they did mention that it was going to be more cinematic than ever. So I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, we're going to get some cinematic moments, some movie moments that it's just going to like you say, expand throughout the week, and it's going to be very much on theme for whatever's going on. I can't wait. I'm excited for mm -hmm. it. Definitely, definitely. So we get our first group moving in, and first into the house is yes. Bailey. Poor mm -hmm. Bailey. I, I like know. her, and I was like, I have high hopes that Bailey's going to make it far. And then she walked first in the door, and I was like, baby, that curse <laughs> she, is going to hit you hard. She could make it far, but, mm -hmm. you know. She's not going to so, win. Exactly. I so mean, first, it, it is, could happen. I was about to say, is the, is, does Canada have that curse? They do. They do. They've never had a first. The, only, in the... the only person in North American Big Brother to walk into a house first and win is Tamar Braxton. Oh, well, okay. so, mm -hmm. um, sorry, Bailey. I sorry, Bailey. Home. I really like you, though. But that first group to walk in, we have Bailey, Kayla, Matt, and Elijah. I mean, for me, Bailey, Bailey and Kayla were the standouts mm -hmm. of that group. Okay. When they pull each other to the side, I don't know if y'all noticed that interaction, mm -hmm. but like women womening. Like women. I love when women women. 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 You know? Women. I'm telling y'all, when women women, women women. But oh. when women women, women. 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 Oh. And we are here for women womening. I want women to women all women. the time. Women oh. season. I want women oh, to women I need all it. the time. Women need to women for sure in this season. Cause the women I will say I will, I will say I want six of these seven women to women. I'll be honest. There's uh, one woman that yes. I'm not. Yes, yes, yep. I'll be honest. And we'll say we're like all... five, but <laughs> not There's like six... I don't have a strong disdain for one of them, but the one of them specifically, I'm just like, yeah. yeah one of them was, was, she, she, was she in this second group we saw? In <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna say this person was definitely in the second. But, group. I'm not getting. I'm getting nothing from Donna. I'm gonna be honest. I'm getting nothing from. All her. I'm getting from her is. <sighs> but uh, if we're gonna get back to the first group, yes. for me, I watched no preseason footage. I wanted mm -hmm. to just 
go into it in the episode and yeah. see what they provided us. Kayla is it for me. Like Kayla yes. is my winner pick. I like love that. queen doing queen things. Um, the Zenzaya doppelganger vibes are very high with her. First off, the like she's about to eat up all yesterday. these men's yeah. hearts. And on top of that, like, I just feel like she's going to have a very strategic mind. Her, her, the way she carries herself, I, it feels like there's always something going on back there. Like, I think mm -hmm. she's going to be one to watch. And then because she's like a volleyball coach or whatever, she's probably mm -hmm. like going to do so, so well in these challenges. She's about mm -hmm. to comp beast her way through a lot of stuff. Like, Except for this that's my one. winner. Except for this one. Except for winner. this first challenge. That we, uh, we don't, we'll we don't talk, talk about that. We don't talk about that. that. <laughs> Fine. But yeah. let me live in my delusion for a couple of weeks. I understand that I'm here for it and I support you in that. Yeah, we did say she kind of looked like it was, she said Zendaya, and we said, um, I said Zoe Zeldana. I was like, yeah. Yeah, because didn't they have a question in yes. the in the bios that yes. was like, and she said Zendaya. Yep. Several people on from this like cast, certain, I think, said Zendaya. Yeah, from certain angles, angles? I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zendaya's cousin. Okay, <laughs> right. Like she could definitely be related to Zendaya, mm -hmm. and she could yeah. definitely be related to like Zoe Saldana. I could see. I'd be like, yeah, y'all in the same family of some sort. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, down the line, y'all cousins of something. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Um, and not to say because I really like Bailey as well. I like yes. Matt. I just think Matt is going to be you know traditional bro kind of type i hope I think he he's gonna be in a showman's by day three <laughs> like, i think he's gonna be in a showman's with kayla, kayla. by day three That's i don't my want prediction. that for my kayla i mean i hope she gets herself set up in a way like showmances do like traditionally very well especially in bb can but who, the only other option really that i see is todd and i would rather her be in a showman's with matt than i would todd fair unless yeah. it's vivek it's cool. which uh -huh. hey i wouldn't be mad at vivek either I like Vivek too. I, like but Vivek. We'll I mean, there's somebody else in that house. I don't know if he's single or not, but I think he's forever oh. single. And if he's not, I'll make sure he's single. Don't I was worry. Say, I was like, say, Amy already had uh, Amy already uh claimed it's okay. He can I tell mean, me that I'm the only one and I will believe it every time. It's fine. <laughs> no one that is not true. Like no one no. Lie to me, baby. My I would be like okay with the Kayla with this person for game purposes only because right. this is who you want to get behind and yeah. let them be that shield that person who's going to win competitions on the things that you can't because I think Kayla can win I, I think Kayla can win comps but it's going to be some comps that she probably can't and you need somebody who is going to be on your yeah. side to do it so I'm not opposed to Kayla doing a showman for the show and make it be a true showman because baby girl said she is willing to cut her showman in the end if necessary. And I'm like, word. Uh, I, I hope mother. I hope, and, and this it is took this me a is whole the, three minutes before I screamed mother. I'm sorry. Like it hey, took me a while. I, I'm, I'm surprised. Trying. I'm surprised we're 18 minutes into this recording and you're you're saying it for the first I'm time, trying. To be honest. I and I appreciate that. Unfortunately, we do have to move to the other uh 10 people in this cast. So Let's move to our second group with Donna, uh, Dennis, Avery, and Tola, who all three of us were experiencing for the first time. Yes. And I gotta be honest, I'm kind of obsessed with Tola already. I like him. His story is wild. And the fact that he was an alternate, they alternated him? Yeah. Wild Tola to me. Funny. Tola came to actually play this game. Tola did yeah. not come to be friends with people. Sure, if it happens, it happens for Tola. But Tola, like, I got a family, yes. and I came for the money. And yes. this is why I'm here. And so I believe it could go either one, one of two ways with Tola. Either he go go in this game and play it smart and get do the, have the social constructs that's going to help him get through this game, or he go go in this game and play too hard and get out early. Because people will be like, Tola's mm -hmm. doing too much, and Tola's he 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 here for for the game purposes and I can't compete with that. So he yeah. has to go. So he needs to find that good balance of playing the game, but not throwing the game. Finding yeah. the people who you can talk that game with that you can be hardcore. Like da -da -da, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, y'all. We gotta work, 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 and then be able to pull back for those folks who need who needs to be placated throughout yeah. the game. Because there's always and those people who you need to placate throughout games. 
And our alternates have been good on Big Brother in the past couple of years. So, and as much as I am upset for Ibrahim not being able to, you know, compete on the season, Sad. let's be honest, Lana, we both saw his his bio preseason. That man was a, the recruit of the recruits. <laughs> and so if if him leaving means that a super fan of Big Brother does get to play the game, then, I'm, then I am okay with that. Plus, it means more people over the age of 40 on this season. Now we have three. I'll take that. That's and it's more. It, I'm sad to see Ibrahim not on this season, but I'm excited for Tola to get this opportunity, and I really, really like him. So yeah, I also really liked um, Dennis from this group. Yes. Um, yes, Dennis is giving. Like I feel like I don't know how Dennis is going to do in this game, but I want to meet Dennis. I would love to go out to dinner with Dennis. I want to get, get styled by Dennis. Like I want to get shit faced with Dennis. That's yes. what I want to do. I want to get absolutely wasted with this man because I can tell he's a good time. Yeah, he seems like a very fun person. I know that he mentioned wanting to uh, be a bit more villainous. Um, so we shall see how that plays out for him. Um, yeah. I do try to keep in mind in people's preseason press, they are saying what production wants to hear in order yep. to get themselves on the show. And it, we really won't know until they're actually in the house and interacting with each other. Um, mm -hmm. Dennis seems like a very lovely person and I'm really hoping that he will be able to find his footing. This does gear towards a little bit of a younger cast that I feel like already are mentioning people's ages. So here's hoping that he's able to um, get out of that little box that people are trying to put the older castmates in because I think that he has a lot to bring to the table. I feel like um, he has a lot of charisma and I think he'll be able to make a lot of allies in this space if they allow him to like give him the time of day. And if he was the only person over 40, I'd be a little worried. But again, we've got three. So I'm a little bit more hopeful that, you know, I, I think he can I think he can find his role. I'm hoping that, you know, the queer people don't come after each other because the one person that was mentioning age in this episode was Avery. And I don't Ms. want that Avery. to happen. I love Avery. Yes. Um, I She reminds me of a Labrador retriever. And I don't say that in a bad way. I say <laughs> that in that yep. her preseason interview is very much like wanting to people please, wanting to get pats yep. on the head. Like, I feel like she's going to be a great ally for people. Yes. I don't know if she has what it takes to like actually make the big moves and cut people when it really matters. But I think that she's going to be a great number for an alliance and that she's going to be able to stay true to the people that she cares about in this game, which is really relevant when it comes to us talking about the extra people that are coming in at the yes. end. But uh, yeah, I like Avery. I like that she came in saying that her style type is make it as gay as possible. Gay. Like, I love that for her. Yeah. My it's style gay. is gay. Done. Yes. Stan. Like, I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. I'm supporting this. Great. Love it. Wonderful. Um. And then, you know, Donna is there. Um, Donna, we have to talk about it because we can't just skip over her completely. But uh, she irks uh, my nerve. Like, oh, yeah, every, no. Oh, my God. Like, I hope that it is just for the cameras. Like I said, sometimes people have to stereotype themselves in order to be cast. I really hope that there is more to her than just being the hair flipping valley girl. Like, I'm here to break hearts. And like, I'm, please, 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 Donna, give us something else. Because if that's all you have, you need to go like immediately. Oh Lord, not Donna. Because if I see one of my faves leave because somebody is deciding they need to cuddle up with Donna, I'm going to be mad. Like oh. super mad. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I am with you on that. Ugh. All right. It's giving very number. much JC Lynn energy for that me. That is exactly <laughs> what we said in we the can, cast assessment. Yeah, that's Literally. what we said for season. <laughs> You're like, JC Lynn? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Thank God she's not an all-star, Jesus. Oh, Jesus um, Christ. And then our third group to move in, we have Vivek, Lexis, Janine, and Todd. A cute group. Um, and then Todd, who doesn't speak over a monotone. But trust me, I'm a very fun individual. I promise you. He's going to end up in the majority alliance simply because yep. he's young and fit and he's yes. a number. And right. 
I just hope that that doesn't take him to the end of the game um, and lets him win a bunch of stuff to take out our faves because I'm going to be a little upset. Uh, it's to be expected if they if they do keep him too long. But uh, people like Todd go in doubles and triples a lot in BB Can, so that's uh, my vision. I hate wanting to say I want people out, but if my faves are going to go far, bye. Yes, I like Lexus, awesome. though. Love Lexus. I think Lexus is giving good energy. The Back to Todd for a second. He felt very out of place when everyone was in the house. I will say the little bit we saw of the overall house dynamic, Todd felt very um, a little out of place, very withdrawn, per perhaps a little insecure. I feel like I would probably be that same way myself. So I do understand a little bit of that for sure. Um, and I wasn't I expecting he... that from Todd of all people. I can see a lot of that being like from a small town. The area of Canada yeah. he's from is really um, like out in the middle of nowhere. He said he's Probably, from the sticks. So, yeah, like a lot of the schools in that area are very small. Probably have like a class of like 25, 30 people. <laughs> like, if we're being like, real, I'll say if um, that. Probably just very quiet, very reserved in general. And being in a space with this many um, outgoing people is going to be a lot of an adjustment. We'll see how he does with that, I guess. You know who else felt very much out of place, who I was very shocked to see them be out of place, was Matthew. He kind of was like a little, but I feel like it's nerves, like first night jitters. Everybody's trying to figure people out. They don't really know each other. They just kind of like, yeah, we. I thought we were gonna have Elijah be that person who be you know sticking around by them. No, he's a social butterfly. He's like in everything, talking to everybody. <laughs> I can't do the laugh. Oh, that was a full goose. <laughs> Not full goose. <laughs> I'm like, I, 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 I know by the end of this season, either I'm going to be very turned off by Elijah, like, please let him go. Or he's going to be our favorite. He's going to be my favorite person in the world to talk about. And I'm gonna be like, Elijah's so funny and so cute. And that, that laugh. Oh, Elijah. Oh, Elijah. Like, I know what's going to happen. It's one yeah. way or the other. But he surprised me the most. Like, he was very much in the conversations with people, talking to people, cracking jokes, and people are loving it and laughing with him. So I was like, okay. But the the pretty boys were kind of like standing off. They looking around. They too cool. Like, I feel like they were like intimidated to talk to some of these girls because they kind of find them all kind of gorgeous and hot. So they don't know how to talk to them. And they kind of like do They're all, all like legs for days oh, like just these are models beautiful Literally. model like all these goddesses girls. These girls. every single one of them this, is this because again when women women they men do not know how to men when the women are winning in the way that the women are womening right now on this women's season because baby these women are womening for real and i was like i love it but yeah i was very shocked to see how well, not shocked with Todd because we said small town, probably yeah. don't really know, you know, the people he know with the people he know. And he talks to those people all the time. This is a yeah. brand new set of people. He probably ain't ever seen too many black people in his life because they probably don't live there. So he kind of like, I got to get. I like, mom, what's that? Like, <laughs> right. Well, it's he's also. He never seen no Polynesian person before this night. Right. They ain't there. So it's kind of like. I also, I also think I'm comparing Todd a little bit to the, uh, the Newfoundland people that we've had on the show before who are very high energy and who are very like outwardly charismatic. And so it's a bit of a different pace to see someone from Newfoundland and Labrador who is so reserved. And I'm interested to see where he ends up falling in the house dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I could see him, you know, not really making many social connections and potentially being an early out because of that. But I could also see him, like you were saying, Amy, I could see them kind of just almost maybe forgetting mm -hmm. he's there. Give us a muscle. Yeah. And he and wins. Win you know, a veto. Like, right. That part, that absolutely. Part, yeah. Absolutely. So, so, I mean, well, we'll talk about him later in the challenge because, yeah. Yes. Also, so, um, Lexus. Lexus. Yes. Um, def for me, 
giving main character energy. Absolutely. Um, her vibe is very much giving Taylor Hale, like that confidence, that mm -hmm. um, poise to her that um, is giving all kinds of just stunning energy. Like, I love her. Um, very interesting that you said that she had a celebrity ex, Logan. Yeah, yeah so Drake she is, is her ex. Yeah, Drake is her ex boyfriend. Who? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mr. All Aubrey. right, Lexus. And, and right. she said she got all, all kind of hate when she was dating Drake. And so that kind of helped her. And I like vaguely remember that entire thing. I'm not like the world's biggest pop culture person in general, but I vaguely remember something about, oh, Drake with like a 21 year old girlfriend. And so there were like a lot of like, there was, was a lot of like- A lot of 21 year old girlfriends. I don't know. Yeah, they need to be looking know. wrong at Drake, not looking wrong at Lexus. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to say, I'm about to say Drake is kind of, mm, we, we won't talk about that because- mm, No, we're going to focus on Lexus. He's an ex for a reason and she's yeah. going to do better for herself. Yeah, and if absolutely. that means winning Big Brother Canada, then so be it. I Period. like her a lot. Who um, said, we'll Lana, who said preseason that they were a big Drake fan? There was someone on this cast- it was Vivek. It was yeah. Vivek. He gives big Drake fan energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And to touch on him as well, I, you know, I liked the bit that we saw of him. Um, I think he could, you know, I think he could do something. I don't know. We didn't get a whole lot of him and we didn't get a whole lot of Janine in this episode. Um, from his package, I like him. I can see if if he wins an early HOH, I could see him being the kind of person that gets severe HOH-itis and Absolutely. ends up getting himself out because of it. Um, yeah. The ego is there. Absolutely. It's up to him if he learns how to curb that in a big group of people. Um, I think that he has a very likable personality if he really wanted to exude that. Um, and we'll see how it goes, I guess. Because yeah. like for him... He's an attractive man. Like he's mm -hmm. very handsome. I saw yes. him walk in. I was like, okay, Vivek, hello. Yeah. Like, but yeah. we have to see how he's able to curb that ego because you do have very strong willed mm -hmm. women in this household. And I'm sorry, I don't care what anyone says. A woman is winning this season. So if he has to go because his ego cannot be put in check, that's his loss. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And Janine seems lovely. She's, she's a fan. Nice gowns, beautiful gowns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's a fan. <laughs> she's here to play the game. She's not here for followers. And hey, no, I, appreciate, followers. I appreciate when someone is just straight up like, no, I'm here to play the game. I'm not here for the brand deals that I will get for, you know, tummy shrinking tea and, you know, vibrators that I get and after Hello the season. And HelloFresh. Uh, HelloFresh and Wendy's and Skip and, you know, all of the sponsors we have this season on Big Brother Canada. I do appreciate when someone is just straight up like, I'm here to play the game. And hey, we have a woman over 40. I'm right. here for it. Because again, women, women are women. So right. I'm intrigued to see, you know, it seems like a lot of fans on this season as well, which I am always a fan of. I don't know why she reminds me of Jillian from season one. Oh, uh, one. okay. I don't know what it is about her. Like, okay. I, I wrote it down and I just wrote Jillian question mark. Like, I don't know what it is yet. I have to see more of her because we didn't get much of her this episode. Mm -hmm. um, just her vibe was very much like not giving me much. I guess we shall see. She shall could see. be someone that really grows on me. Like, mm -hmm. um, what she does for a living is really interesting. I think that mm -hmm. she'll be able to get in with the other girls really easily because of like beauty yeah. tips and things like that. It really can help socially in a space like this. Um, we'll see. And she we'll said see. that pre while she was like, oh, I'm gonna be doing everyone's hair and makeup and that's how I'm gonna learn everyone's. Like, it seems like she knows from what she does and from the experience that she has, she knows how to adapt that into playing Big Brother. I mean, if I was in the house with her, I would totally be getting all the makeup tips and be like, show yeah. me how to do it because yeah. I don't know how to do it. So I'd be like, tell me what to do. Make me look pretty on the live eviction night and let's go. Right. All right. right. Well, now that we've made it through our 12, we got to talk about the most well, I mean, exciting. I mean, we, we, could, we could talk about them, but we do have the fact that these 12 people have just entered into this house and they're milling around trying to oh, yes. look for stuff and figure things out and they talk and we get some um <clears throat> the women were women in because yes. we first had a Bailey Kayla like when when the boys walked away they were like 
so women. women, women, and they were like women. women. Women! Oh, okay. I and then, and then when they're all in the women. house, and then when they're all in the house, and we see right. Kayla and Lexis, and okay, they go so Taylor and Lexis like, walked away, and they were like, "Women, women, women!" women. Oh, and I was like, "Okay, I can't and with this season." I mean, Donna comes in and she goes right to the women, and she's like, "Women," and they're like, "Women,", women. and if Donna's gonna be women, if Donna's then gonna I'm women. Here for it. Okay. Okay, but she, about she makes me nervous that yep. she's the kind of woman that's gonna blow up the women. And I for know. that, I'm dragging you by your ankles when you come out the house. I'm just telling you now. <laughs> she's giving me that vibe. And unfortunately, as much as I really like her, Avery is giving me that vibe that she might not women with the women. And I'm like- I don't think so. Based I on gonna, I our think she's gonna win in with our all-star woman. <laughs> That might be true. And I think that all star woman probably will women. Oh, I have a Can we talk I, about it? It's like we, we will jump in. Scream, I scrum. We will jump Let's go into We were, home. so we all watched it together. And the moment when our all stars were revealed and they started with Miss Spicy V. <laughs> <sighs> oh, the way we I all streamed. Was- <laughs> I literally the way they all screamed. screamed, and then the stream froze, and we were like, "Oh!" <laughs> Honestly, I was very glad the stream froze. Oh, thank you. We're I not like, mentally oh, ready. We needed yeah. a moment to process. <laughs> I was like, yes. "Okay, okay, calm down, breathe, breathe." breathe. Spicy V is here. We know it. Spicy V is here. Spicy V is here. <sighs> and Honestly, then, oh, I, I I just wanted to talk more on V before we oh, leave. Yes, yes, because of like. The way V brought it in BB Can Nine, yes, yes. Um, not only a comp beast, bringing the confessionals, bringing the feed moments, like eating people up for fun. Like this I can't what, wait. This is what you signed up for, Tara. You signed up for this. <laughs> <laughs> when they dropped that little car. nugget, when they dropped that nugget on the wall, I was like, "Oh, that's coming. She's coming." Oh, she's yeah. coming. Cause like we were sitting here and when they when they came and painted in the house, we were like, we were we like, oh, we signed up for this. Oh, oh, she's coming. So I was like, when she arrived, I was like, this is beautiful. This is everything. This is what I wanted. This is going to make me excited about this season. Not that this cast wasn't because yeah. this cast is great. And I think they're going yeah. to do some things, but I feel like this cast needed a kick in the butt and mm-hmm. Spicy V is the one to do it. And they, oh, she's going to, huh? She's going to women. She's, she's going to women. And not only that, I look forward to her being in a cast of people that are actually going to give her the opportunity to find allies that are actually going to be on her side. Yep. Because yes. I feel like in BB Can Nine, she was reaching out and begging for people to actually care about being her allies, yep. and, and they nobody would. was willing to like put themselves on the line for her the way she. She was consistently winning things and people were still not wanting to trust her or wanting to work closely with her or feed her any sort of information. And like watching somebody like that flounder who has so much potential to like eat this entire game up. I just can't wait to see what happens, especially knowing the twist that we know at the end of the episode, what happens, what she's able to do with her time in this cast. Cause she's about to eat. Like she's just eating it up. And then. And then, and as then. if things couldn't get any better, <laughs> Poutine Poppy is back. And this is this is the combination that we had been hoping for. I'm we have been enough. speculating. Oh, We've been God. praying for. Oh, Anthony when I is tell back. you the bisexual uh, panic. <laughs> <laughs> the bisexual panic, I'm on fire. <laughs> I was like, wait. And, 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 Am I bisexual? Because I find both of them here. Like, like I'm feeling things for the both of them. Not me and making us all feel bisexual. Panic. It's a sexual yeah. awakening for us all. I'm it very is, honest. honestly. Yeah. I'm like, because yes, poutine poppy, absolutely. Oh. But what is Spicy V doing for me right now? In this okay, but also so doing everything. Yeah. But also simultaneously, Kayla and Lexus. I'm like, what is happening here on this? Right. Day? Like, it's hello. So great. Hello. Oh, this whole cast oh, is Matthew, because hello. Oh, okay. Matthew, yes. yes. Viva. Oh, Matthew's yes. brother, call me. <laughs> your, brother, your brother, Matthew. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh, and God. I'm going to also say Tola, yes. 
Yes, oh, oh, my God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Daddy, okay. Daddy vibes for sure. I said, oh. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This cat is hot. Oh, I need like, a sip of water. Oh my god! I, I know. I'm like, like hmm. but yes. But D Dougie, Anthony, Mr. Anthony. Poutine Poppy, Anthony is back in the game, and I think of of every. There are so many people that could have been chosen for these two All Star spots. I'm so grateful that it is Victoria and Anthony yes. because yes. I really do think these are two people that the fandom loves. The producers know that universally the fandom loves them because there were some other names thrown around and I'm very thankful it's not them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think Anthony is just, I think Anthony is going to bring a level of honestly swag to this season and he's going to bring confidence. And I hope he aligns himself with some women this year. God damn it, please. Here's what I think the producers knew and why they needed to bring back Poutine Poppy and Spicy V. They knew that they will give them what this show needs without live feeds. We're not getting live feeds, so we are definitely dependent on digital dailies and we're dependent on the edit of the show. Yep. And they know how to bring good TV. We saw they them both. Yes. They know how to give some good confessionals. They know how to give good TV. We're going to get some interesting. The longer they're there, the more interesting com like confrontations we're going to get. The issue that's going because it, it's always going to be the target on their back. They're, they're all stars. Yeah. They're coming back. And with this twist this week, people might feel a type of way about it. So it's going to always have the target. So they're going to always be in fight mode yeah. for the two of them. And so we're going to get spicy V. We're going to be fed. Like, we're going to be We're going to get spicy V in fight mode? Come on. Like, I can't. I can't. This was the best two. I feel like, yes, the people that they were talking about that it could have been. Some of them were some of them were like, okay, and others was like, absolutely not. Like some of them would have been cute to have a redemption. Right. But others was like, absolutely Thank not. Thank God it's not Marty's oh, dumb Jesus. racist ass piece of shit. Don't no. Nobody needs to we um, don't need that again. No. But back to Anthony. Please. I am incredibly thankful that he gets another chance. Yes. Honestly, he should have won his season. No, should, but I don't angry. think that he was prepared or understood how jury management works. He mentioned that himself. He was, he was and a also recruit. like he was a recruit on seven. So exactly. You know. And like when it came time to like speak about himself in final two, he didn't know how to sell himself. Yes. He sold ice to Eskimos the entire season and then clammed up in the final two. Yeah. And I was just like, baby, what are you doing? Like bring us home the money. Our children are hungry. Like, <laughs> come on. Um, so like I'm just glad that he's having the opportunity to redeem himself in this way. I know that he has everything capable in order to win this game. We'll see if this cast allows him to get even close to that. But I think before they even have the opportunity to realize how big of a threat he is, they're going to be out the door anyway. So we shall see what happens. I'm I think he will be working with more women this season because mm -hmm. he's going to make him have to work with more women this season. Yeah. Um, I think he'll realize – it's been a long time since he's been on the show to be able to see from other people's perspective that like just working with the men is not that cute. Um, and that he also has superpowers with women. How low, like you can have a harem of women if you really wanted it, babe. But like I'm willing to share. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that he, he needs to harness every aspect of his gift of gab Mm -hmm. and use that superpower to his full advantages. And Absolutely. I think that he, after having all this time away and the ability to process what he did wrong, yes. he's ready to come back and just take it all, baby. It's coming. You know people have told him all the things that he's done. he did wrong in his season. He okay. went home. He had to watch all that and see where he went wrong. He is not a fool. He is not going to let that same mistake happen twice. So I think as much as... He's going to have moments where he go bro it out because I think Matthew is someone who can be in his bro moments. And yeah. even Todd, like I think even Todd and and, and I was going to say Vivac. Uh, Vivac yeah, and Anthony feels oh, like a very natural. Sure. That feels Vivac like a very natural sure. duo. Absolutely Vivac for sure. Or even but, Tola. I feel like because yeah. they're, they're similar ages. I, I mean, think, yeah, so. but here's the thing. And even with Tola, like Tola's 
he's not going to be competition for Anthony with the women. So he don't have to worry about nothing like that because he's married. He's like, I got my wife, got my kid. Yeah. I'm just here to play the game, which is somebody who Anthony's going to want to probably play with somebody who just here to play the game because yeah. he's there to play the game. Let him be the charmer and charm some of these people. You do the strategy stuff. We'll talk and we'll come up and meet in the yeah. middle. My strengths, your weaknesses, my, your weaknesses, my strengths. And we'll build, I can see a Tola Anthony kind of duo ship oh, happening. Yeah. And I see them using Vivek, like I see them using him as a shield for them, have him winning stuff to keep them safe, like me heading it out. That's off absolutely what's going to happen. Vivek absolutely. is going to be drawn to Anthony because of his swag, yep. the way yep. he is as a man. Mm -hmm. Like he wants to be around that energy. And I can guarantee you that Vivek is about to be halfway up Anthony's ass. Absolutely. And he's going to take advantage of that as absolutely. he should. Absolutely. But then on the flip side, like you said, he's going to have to work with women because he's going to want, he, go, he needs V. He needs her in this game. He needs her. Especially in this early game. He needs her in this game. And so the target is not strictly on him. So he's going to keep V around. V is going to bring in some of the other women. And he's going to have, they're going to have to play it in this, like they said, separate, but together. together. Like and, they and, and they talked about that moment one Absolutely. in the house. The they second they walk in the house. They Anthony like, was like, we are together. They were like, we see each we are, other. Like, let's go. We are the only two. And they were both gooped. Absolutely. That they were the only two. Um, their entrance as well, the whole red carpet situation, Absolutely. having V walk Everything. in first, and then V being, uh, then that being look, like, I'm sorry, V was dress. painted into that fucking dress. All right. She put that shit on. She and I was like, painted into it. She was all practically falling out the damn dress. Oh, I just, Baby, oh, they were so her in everything. that dress as in the back mm -hmm. as she was coming yeah. out. They were putting her in that and it, oh, oh, it yes. she's like my dream woman. Just beautiful. Oh. I love her. But yes. So they they get to walk in. They are the ones that, you know, find out that the car that the winner of the season gets is just fully in the house. <laughs> I'm like, okay, car room, go off car. Like, is this car going to be in the house the whole season? And how are they going to get the car out of the house? That's what I would like to know. Maybe they just go move the, they just go move the studio wall that they put in. It's just yeah, a garage. Right. <laughs> it's just a studio. Right. Right. <laughs> but, but, but is the car going to be there? Because, baby, that's a good hiding space. Like, go sit behind the car while people oh, yeah. just sit in the front of your car and sit on the floor and just be like... Double eviction. Everybody to the car room. Like... It's <laughs> weird. But they got a lot of rooms in this house that they can go hide in and sit yeah. down and chill out with. So it's a cute house. It's a cute house. But, but they go in yeah. and they're told that they just go go and 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 all of a sudden the, the house gets are preparing for this competition that we thought was the HOH competition. So did they? But no, 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 it's not the HOH competition. Starting what I think based on uh, the theming that Amy was talking about earlier seems like it's going to be action movie week. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I think that's where we're starting. I think we are. I think we start um, with the next movie. And so here's what we find out. We find out that uh, Anthony and Spicy V are safe for the first week. Thank Period. you. Thank you very much. Period. They are they not going to be that. competing. They needed that. They needed it. Sure. They are not competing in this first competition, which is, like you said, Lana, not an HOH competition. It is a safety competition mm -hmm. with a couple of other things added on. So mm -hmm. the winner of this competition is safe for the week. And they get to pick, they get to be the first to pick which entourage they are a part of between Anthony and Spicy V. And so everyone will eventually pick which entourage they want to be in. It'll be 6-6, six, six, mm -hmm. presumably. Yes. Um, and then Anthony and Spicy V will compete in an HOH competition and the winner of that competition is the first HOH, presumably. I, th I think we got confirmation of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And their entire entourage is safe. So we are potentially keeping nine people safe yep. in this first week alone. Because the winner of the challenge could also be in the losing entourage. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. I think a lot of people are going to assume that being on Anthony's team is going to be the safe team. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on V, baby. 
mm-hmm. because she is a winner. She wins competitions. She beast mode stuff. She won the, uh, the first group competition of her season as well. Like, and it was a strength based competition. She held up so much <laughs> fucking weight for so long. And like, I just wish, I hope that people are aware of these things and know not to sleep on V. I, I can guarantee you Avery's going to V. Like, I just know oh, it off jump. Like, if she, that's if V's she lap dog. The, yeah. If she has the ability to, she will be. Oh, yeah. V. A thousand percent. Um, and honestly, I'm glad they're safe this week. I'm glad that they get these entourages because it allows them to have time to cozy up to people where people feel this level of authority with V and Anthony so that they, we all saw them band together and say that they would get them out first. They can't do that now. And this gives them time to build and establish relationships with each one individually. And especially like hone in on the ones that are in their entourage. Mm -hmm. And so we shall see how this works out, but I, I just feel whoever's with V our winner is going to be on that side of the entourages. I'm calling it now. Okay. We need Miss Kayla on that side because I want Kayla to win if it's not going to be V winning the season. Um, that's just where my heart is at. Yeah. And it, honestly, if a woman wins, that's all I care about right now. We need another woman winner. And for it There's to happen only, while V three. is in the house, like, I need it. There's only three. There's only three yeah. with, with one Big Brother Canada. And one was a fluke, like of an accidental vote. One was accidental. Accidental, so whatever. <laughs> and the other two were very bad. deserved. Yes. So. We would have had one with Betty, but justice for Betty. Sorry. <laughs> I will I never recover. <laughs> oh, no, none of us ever will. Don't worry. But I just get such a feminine energy coming from this cast. And like, I don't always feel that way. Sometimes I'll go into a season and I could pinpoint which man is about to win. And I said, they're winning. Last they're winning. season, last season, I was like, well, tie. Yep. Tie. We tried to set it all season. I mean, I was rooting I was, for Daniel Clark from we the very right, beginning. I was rooting for Daniel. And Daniel Clark. Period. Um, and when it came to that final three, I was like, please pick Daniel because if Daniel gets to that final two, he's winning. He, you are like, I would have been you. fine with a man winning there. Great. Right. Absolutely. Great. But this season, I need a woman to win, baby. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's time. The women are much too strong this year. Like, we need it. We need it. There's I need too to, much potential. I need to see a woman win, but I also need to see a woman alliance actually work. I have been begging, pleading, hoping, praying, meditating, sending out pigeons, all kind of stuff, like signals, folk signals and all kind of stuff. I'm like, I need a woman's alliance to actually work and like work to the point where we get to the final five or six or whatever and all the men are gone. Like we right. in the last few weeks and it's just us girlies in here just doing it. And I'm not, and not, and I'm not saying this to be a man hating woman because I, I don't no. hate men at all. I love you know, I love me some men actually. Love me sure, yeah. too much. But um it's just the fact that we don't get to see this often. We've seen several bro alliances happen and be successful and men alliances happen and be successful and get to the ends and all of that. I would love just to see that happen for the women. And it's actually real and not the women turn on each other because they feel like we need a man to keep us safe. No, you need a man to get you there and stay for a minute and then you kick them out. Like, you, uh, I need a reverse he, meta this season. That's he is I mean. the catalyst of a pretty girls alliance. Let's make it happen, V. <laughs> like, I, think, I need something to occur because something. there's too something. many women that are deserving yes, of yes. being in this end game. Yes. Like they're hungry for it. They're actually there to play the game. And like some of these men are just kind of there. And I'm like, yeah. y'all can go because I need my girly pops to be doing good over here. Like yes, they're please. eating this up already. All right. Yes, please. I completely agree with that. I see there's one person that I see gravitating uh, other than Avery. Cause I do agree with you. I think Avery is going to immediately gravitate towards V. Mm-hmm. I think another person that could, and I personally would like to see it. Cause I like everything we saw of her this episode. I hope Bailey does. I can see mm-hmm. that. 
I, I, I could see that. Bailey. I could see Avery, Bailey, V, and Kayla. I think that's, I pass out. you know, <laughs> what I, I would out. like to see. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really, I agree with you, Amy. I feel such a strong, like, the women are womening this season, as we keep the saying. Women are in this episode. And when women, women, women can women in such a womanly way in order to women and women. And I just, I, women, 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 uh. that's all. Um, but yes, so we have the safety competition. We only see half of it on this episode. Uh, it's hold on to a rope for as long as you can. Absolutely. That's the competition, classic endurance over a pit of lava, you know. <laughs> BB Can is never gonna. They may they may not have live feeds anymore, but they are never going to. Uh, they are never going to not have dramatic competition. The drama. The the drama. drama. Um, so the five people that we saw drop out of the endurance comp mm -hmm. on this episode was Elijah first. Mm -hmm. Kayla, we're gonna skip over that real quick. Then uh, Dennis, mm -hmm. Bailey, <laughs> not the and Tom. Well, she, she I'm, didn't I'm know. sad that. The Kayla dropped when she did. I didn't want Don't her to. Don't be so loud. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not trying to be like, mm. hey, only two, only two women okay. drop. She doesn't have only to win everything, especially for a You just win when you need This is like win. heavy, like calves and core strength. And yeah. I think that we end up with a very strong woman winning this or a, like a moderate sized man. I don't think anybody really heavy is going to win this. I don't think anybody really small is going to win this. Like Eliza and his potatoes, we're not about to win this. No. I know what he's doing. No. Well, his potatoes. I could see someone like, I could see Avery winning because we did see Avery doing pretty, pretty well. Mm -hmm. I could see someone like Tola winning, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he's got, I think he is kind of the most well-rounded, at least from the little bit we've seen he feels like the most well-rounded competitor that we have right now. Watch Matthew win this. Matthew winning this. I like could that. see I, it. I, as much as I don't want this specific person to win it, if she wins it, it's a little bit better. I Donna I is doing. Donna is going to do really well. Um, if she wins it, I think she still goes with V. Um, I think she goes. With she goes with Anthony. I think I Donna think goes with Anthony because Anthony, she's going to yeah. she's going to be like I need a shield. I need somebody who yeah. I think is going to win this comp. I don't think she watched the show like to know that how good V is. Yeah. But you know who I do think watched the show to know how good V is Elijah. Mm -hmm. So I can see Elijah that going to fun. V to well, be like not going to have a choice. Well, you yeah, know, he's not going to have a choice, but he's not going to have a choice. He's on not going to have a choice since he's first. But, but I think he's going to want, he, I don't think he's going to care because I think either way it goes, I think he probably would have picked me anyway. Yes. But I think, I think Donna goes to pick Anthony because she automatically thinks he's going to win this competition. If she know. wins it and goes to Anthony's team she and V washes won. Anthony up in this competition. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then they have to deal with the drama of only having but so many people that can go home. I'm going to live for it. Like, I just yeah. need that level of drama in the first week. Like, yeah. please do that so that we can I, have this season go start off with a bang. I hope, I hope that someone, you know, that we're loving wins this comp. I hope it's someone like Lexus, someone like Avery. Um, like, that's kind of, even Janine winning this wouldn't uh, be honestly that bad. I don't think Janine's going to win this. I think I don't think so either. When we start the episode, I think she's dropping like one of the first ones they show dropping. You know, probably. But Tola is but. probably going to still hold out, probably going to be in like the final two or three people standing. Um, I could see Matt being one of the final people standing. Um, Vivek? Yeah. I think Vivek's falling soon. Like huh. he yeah. is very, like very big. Like I said, like having that much weight on you to hold that up for mm -hmm. so long, he might have the core strength to be okay for a while, but I think his like calves are going to be on fire. And he's also, pro when you're that big, it's hard to have balance sometimes. And they're already the basically, the problem. they're already basically horizontal holding onto this right. damn rope. Like It's yeah. the balance that's going to be his problem, I think. Totally. And that's where we leave off. Like we, we get five people dropped out of the competition. We still got seven people up there. And we'll see tomorrow night what is going on with whatever we've got. Uh, Arissa did not say we have an eviction tomorrow. So that I'm happy. 
I'm happy about that, honestly. I'm happy that all of these people get a little bit more of an opportunity to be in the house for a little bit longer. Because I hate those night two, night three evictions. I just, I don't like that. She did say we would be getting digital dailies of their first week in the house. So yes. that's all this time period that we yeah. are we're getting delayed entrances yeah. and whatnot. I hope that drops tomorrow. I look forward to watching it during the day and seeing yeah. what it's giving. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get a little bit of some understanding of what the dynamics are currently looking like. Um, yeah. Last season, the digital dailies were not that great about giving us the current dynamics of what was happening. No. So here's hoping they learned the, and get, uh, understood the feedback. If you're not going to give us feeds, you have to at least make sure the digital dailies are accurate to what's happening within the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel I am optimistic still about the digital dailies. I, from everything Arissa has been saying about it, she's been she's felt a lot positive talking about dailies this season than she did last season. And I hope that they are able to take the feedback. I agree with you, Amy. I hope that they took whatever they learned from us talking about them and have planned accordingly for it. So we know that episodes are Sundays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Presumably that means evictions are going to be on Wednesdays this season we've kind of planned out to where our coverage will be weekly on thursdays i don't know how much more we're going to be doing for the season if it comes to doing more things per week so be it but right now we're kind of going to be here on thursday just need to see what the season is given Absolutely. first you know like <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to be like yeah i don't want to be like oh yeah we'll be here to talk all digital dailies every day no I'm... we're not going to say we're going to be here three times a week like we did with bb25 because by the end of that season it was a slog yeah so no it we'll was... be here we can we can promise you one episode a week right now yes. with all the information that happened throughout the week and and with including the digital daily things we'll keep yep. up with that and we'll be able to bring that to you as of right now now if things change things change if, if, if the, the digital, digital daily things are popping, popping and good and and we can pop on here and give you a 15 minute 20 minute digital daily update like we don't mind doing that but don't hold us to that. Don't don't no. think it's gonna happen. We'll figure it out as as the season progresses. As, yeah. as of right now, we're gonna do one episode on a. You'll get it on a Thursday. Eviction after it's, evictions. Let's just say that evictions. after evictions. Sure. After evictions, well, you'll get the episode the next day. I think that for this week we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know. But we'll. I, I don't know. We'll see what tomorrow is giving because if it's good, like. I'm here tomorrow, y'all. Right. <laughs> I'm letting you know. I'm here late tomorrow if we need to. If we need but to, late tomorrow can jump. We'll pop off if it we needs. Got, we got Survivor, but I'm happy we to pop on after Survivor. Right. Absolutely. If, 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 if you know. If you the, know, you know. If, if, the, if the BB can is BB canning, oh, and if the women are womening, <laughs> then we will be here to talk about the women womening and Poutine Pop. Ow. And Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> and Poppy. <Look. laughs> I still love that we are in a universe where we are able to actively talk about Poutine Poppy and Spicy V on Big Brother Canada again. Like, that in itself, like, I'm still geeking out about that. And I'm so excited. I'm so really good. excited for the season. So, <sighs> final thoughts on the premiere? Uh, considering I watched literally no preseason footage, they didn't give us much to go into the season um, yeah. from what I'm aware of. Um, I had very low expectations and not for nothing after this first episode, like they kind of chewed, like I'm ready to continue being excited like this. Like yeah. this was, it feels like big brother Canada again, it I does. will say yeah. last season was defeated because of yeah. like the loss of the live feeds and whatnot. I think yeah. taking it in a new light, like this is a weekly episodic show, like challenge survivor, things like that, that are, we just, we don't know what's coming, but we still look look forward to see the outcome and to see our faves do good or do bad, you know? Um, We're expecting the unexpected. And, uh, hey, I am mad at that. Yeah. So, uh, at this point, I'm very excited, very optimistic. Um, and Kayla's taking that crown, I'm just saying. I was going to say, do we want to do full-on final three predictions? Ooh, I can. Ooh, Okay. Um, 
I will say my top newbies were Kayla, Avery, mm -hmm. yep. Vivek, and Lexus. Um, if I had to look at what a final three looks like, I would not be surprised to see Anthony there. <coughs> um, I think we get um, I think we get Kayla there. Like she needs to be there. She's winning. Hello. Yeah. Um, and honestly, Bailey is giving. Like I think Bailey is going to be really, really smart and grow on me a lot. Um, she was very surprising for me in her first little clips. I was like, okay, we'll see how it goes. And then she came in and she was like, women. And I was like, you Wait. got me there, babes. You got me. All right. So um, I could see her getting to three, but she did walk in the door first. She's not winning. Um, we'll see if she or breaks the Or is she curse, the one to break the curse? We shall see. With a bob like that, you could do anything, babes. So we'll see. <laughs> <Yep>. <sighs> Lana. Lana, what do you think? Oh. Um, so I think my uh, final three could possibly, possibly be I'm going to say I do think Kayla can make it there. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think V. I think Spicy V can make it there because she's she can hide behind Anthony and get further in in the trenches with people. Mm -hmm. So I could see her being there. I would like that. And this might surprise some people, oh. but I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I knew you were going to say him. I'm saying Elijah. Yep. Ooh. I, I I expected that a little bit. He I'm not is surprised. giving Kevin Jacobs energy, I will say. He's giving me that energy, yeah. but I feel like he is somebody who will be, he's not super, like, nerdy standoffish kind of person where people don't like him. So I think people will try to keep him around for a number and then he's going to sneak and slither and figure out a way to make people feel like I'm not the threat. You don't have to worry about me. And he going to cut some throats behind the scenes yeah. and people are never going to look at him as the one doing the cutthroat. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, sweet little Elijah. No, he didn't. Come on. It's, it's, it's little Elijah. So... I'm going to go out on Liam and put it on Elijah. This, I think. You, you kind of ate with that, Lana. Okay. I'm I not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Who you think? What about you, Logan? Logan? So I keep looking at the names and I'm like, yeah. what names are what names are coming to me? And there are three that are very prominently coming to me. And I think this could be a cute final three. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Bailey, because mm -hmm. I I have that same sort of intuition about Bailey that you do, Amy. I'm gonna say Bailey. I'm gonna mm -hmm. say Tola. Okay. I have faith. Mm -hmm. The fact mm -hmm. that he knows he's an alternate, I think he's going to do every single thing he can to make it far in the game, and I think he's gonna be a smart player. Okay. So I, my three is gonna be Bailey, Tola, and I'm gonna say Lexus. Okay. I think, I think Lexus is going to have the social capital. I think I don't think anyone's really gonna be looking at her, and I think she could have the ability to make it very, very far. As much as I would like to say one of Anthony or Spicy V, I don't know with this cast whether they will let them make it to final three. And I'm kind of glad that both of you have one of them and I don't have any of them in my in my prediction here. I think that's kind of a fun dynamic. So yeah, Bailey, Tola, Lexis. And as much as I don't want to say this, I think of someone who could go far in this could be Donna. Don't, don't not, put that I in the universe, Logan. Like, but I didn't put her in my top three. I'm uh, saying, I'm saying there. I'm not putting her in my top three. <laughs> my but. worry with Tola is just that he he could give high some energy. Like he's going to do too I much. Too soon. That's my problem. And I, I worry if he can keep his threat level down early in the game. Yep. I can absolutely see him making the end game. You are so right for that. So and I think see. I think he can. So I, yeah. I have faith. So, well, that's what we thought. 
of the premiere of BB Can 12. Again, hey, we're here talking about BB Can 12 in a universe where Poutine, Poppy, and Spicy V are here. And this whole cast <laughs> is kind of eaten so far. And the women are winning. So <laughs> let us know down in the comments below. What did you think of the premiere? Do you think the women are winning? Are you excited to see Anthony and Spicy V back? Is there anyone else you would have wanted to see maybe in those mm. all-star spots? Mm. There's a couple other people I could have justified, but I'm happy with the choices that we have. Let us know all of your thoughts on the premiere down in the description below. Um, make sure, yes, Lana. We have a thing we have to do, Logan, because for our draft that we did here on the Cup, oh, yeah. remember we have to flip between Spicy V and Anthony. God. Oh, because shit. we have to thank you for out. reminding me yes i just thought about it i was like oh for our draft purposes okay so i'm i'm gonna go ahead and do it lana i'm gonna have you call it okay i'm going to say tails who Again. is wait first oh wait spicy me is all right i'm gonna write hold on i'm gonna write down heads and tails who each one is right you want oh. to do it privately? Or do we do that or do we just pick? Oh, I thought I thought we flipped the coin and then the and then we pick. It. Okay. Then oh, you're picking. I didn't know yes. if it was okay. like Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was gonna say okay. whoever gets it gets to pick between spicy and spicy. Okay. okay. All right. So you're going tails again. That's I'm going, okay. Yeah, I'm going tails again. Okay. Hey Google. Flip a coin. You got heads. Ah, you get to pick first. I'm, I'm, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm taking V. I'm sorry. Absolutely, because I want to pick Poutine and Poppy. Yes! Hey, I'll take it. I want it. Okay, okay. Any time that I can say I'm picking Poutine Poppy, I will say that over and any And any time that I can say I'm picking Spicy V. <sighs> She Ooh. was my first pick for BB Can, so I feel you, Logan. Like I was like, I'm I have to. Excited. I have to. Hey, I would have picked. Uh, you would have picked. Anthony, you would have picked Anthony, though. If I pick first, yeah. No, if I pick first. I would have picked Pop. Uh, Spicy. Well, obviously. <laughs> okay. No, I picked first, to... but I'm very happy to actually say these words. Lana is picking Poutine Poppy, and Ooh. Logan is. Very happy to get some sides to my team. Hey, I'll take it. Oh my God. And when, oh my when God. your top three comes true, Lana, and I win the draft, what about it? What about it? <laughs> so I'm I'm thrilled about that. Um so yes, that is that. Now I can finish yes. the after. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Make sure to subscribe because we don't know what our schedule is going to be for our BB Can coverage. So subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we are covering BB Can um, at least once a week. That's our promise to you right now. So mm -hmm. um, make sure to subscribe over here. Subscribe to both of our other channels as well with Almost All Things Drag and Almost All Things Eurovision Song Contest. More fabulous things to come as well. If you would like to become a member of our channel and join the Tea Room, make sure to go hit the join button over on our main channel, The Cup Pod. Or you can go to Patreon. Same content, different oh, platform. Look at that beautiful cup. I know. Those links are down in the description below. While you're down in the description below, you can go follow our socials at The Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can also go follow the three of us on Twitter. Those links will be down there as well. And you can go get your merch, including my limited to cup mug, down below as well. And with all that being said, someone is always watching. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, how lucky are we to have Arissa Cox back on our screen, y'all? Absolutely lucky. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Absolutely. Bye-bye. <sighs> so Bye. long. Bye-bye.